Now let's add some animation to this diamond. Select the diamond and click this little arrow next to position. This will add a patch in the patch editor for the position of the diamond. And you can ignore all this stuff over here. This comes with the template for this plane tracker scene. So we don't have to worry about that right now. But this patch controls the position of this diamond. So we can manipulate this with a few other patches. So right click over here and add a loop animation patch. This you can see by clicking on the progress shows a number between zero and one. So it's going between zero to one every one second, which is the duration here. Now if we take this, drag it out and release, we can add a transition patch. And this takes that progress and goes between these values and these values. And because we're looking for a vector three of X, Y, and Z values, we can keep this as is. We don't have to change it to any of these. So connecting this directly, the diamond goes crazy because we're dealing with pretty large values. This is one meter, one meter, and one meter. So let's just put zero for the X, zero for the Z, and let's say 0.1 for the Y. Now that's a little bit more manageable, but it doesn't look smooth yet. It's just jerking up and down. So in the loop animation, toggle on mirrored. And in the transition under curves, we can change the kind of trajectory of the curve or the animation as it goes up and down. So selecting something like quadratic, we'll smooth that out. Or let's say quintic will make it even more snappy, but still smooth. And you can see we're penetrating the ground here. So if we add a value of say 0.02, that no longer hits the ground, and we still got that nice animation.